today from the World Trade Center in World Trade Center in Savannah. Uh, he's going to give us a hour long overview of the, uh, according to her estimates, uh, <laughs> overview of the World Trade Center and what it does, and then how you know we're now participating in that. So, be yeah. welcome to Mount Austin. Thank Glad you very to join much. Us. Any particular place you want to be? Just, just anywhere. Anywhere. We're not, we're, we're not formal. Okay, well, I'll, get, I'll do this. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for the invitation to be here, and thanks for the opportunity to share um, a synopsis, not an hour-long discussion, but um, what World Trade Center is um, and how we can all work together to make this region better and stronger. So just to back up, World Trade Center Savannah is part of a greater organization of over 300 World Trade Centers in nearly 100 countries. And that's important to all of us because that gives us access to organizations like ours in nearly every major um, developing area in the world that we would want to do business with, that at least is legal to do business with. We were licensed in October of 2011 and certified by that organization in 2014. Just to give you an idea of some of the structures and the offices that World Trade Centers represent around the world, in developing countries in particular, there are some of the most prestigious buildings, real estate developments, trading convention centers um, in those regions, in those cities. So they have um, very much prominence in that region and are well respected. Um, our building is very nice. Please come and join us anytime. They, it doesn't quite look like it. <laughs> but it's still a really nice place to work. So our mission is very similar to your mission and most um, economic development authorities throughout the, the world. We want to assist in attracting investment and creating jobs. We do it uniquely because we're regional. So we work with companies throughout the region with their um, development for international, be that importing or exporting, as well as trying to identify foreign direct investment opportunities for this entire region. Uh, we also have to generate revenue. Um, some of that is in the form of partnerships um, to support the activities that we do to make those things happen. So we do it in a number of ways through the global connections, through the World Trade Centers throughout the world, uh, business to business meetings, whether those uh, are inbound delegations that come to this region or if companies or organizations are traveling overseas. We can schedule all of those meetings through World Trade Centers and their affiliates. Uh, we also do customized research and market study for organizations, for um, businesses based on their specific needs and what they're looking for. Um, we also support any inbound trade missions. They may come in through the state, they may come in through our invitation, they may come in through county, city, municipalities, but we can help support those inbound delegations, and I will preface by saying business delegations, um, that's what we focus on, uh, but we can support those in a number of ways, as well as support any outbound trade missions. If your development authority is traveling to go to an international trade show, or you have a business here that's traveling to an international trade show, we can help um, add value, hopefully, to that trip by adding some um, additional days, additional meetings, or support there. Um, we also offer global education programs. We do about 15 a year. I have also left a package at each of your seat that you can look at the global education programs that we offer throughout the year. We try to put a schedule out at the beginning of um, the year so that you can see the expanse of all the different programs that we have. And we also offer all of the communities that we work with, if it makes sense to bring a program to your community or there's a need in your community, we're happy to assist in that way. Uh, we also have an internship program that I was just talking about before the meeting. Uh, we have great college students, post-college students. We recruit from all around the regional schools and um, we hope that we add great value back to them. They certainly <coughs> provide a huge value to us in a number of different ways. And our organization is also the grantee for the Foreign Trade Zone, uh, 104. Uh, we service um, that part, uh, a part of the state of Georgia, that's a federal program that assists companies that are importing. And that program, although it is the same in all 50 states in Puerto Rico, uh, is broken down by state and then by region, and we support that um, program in our area. It is basically, at its essence, a job creator, so it fits into our mission. So one of the things that we knew from the beginning was we wanted to be regional. We wanted to 
support many communities uh, regionally in economic development, and we also needed their support and collaboration and partnership. So as of today, we are very, very proud to show that these are our other Economic Development Authority partners and chamber, and we're happy to um, add Valdosta and Lowndes County as our newest partner, and, and thank you for that support. We look forward to what we can come from that. We also have other partners, and they represent different types of organizations, from universities to logistics providers, manufacturing, service providers, banking, um, lawyers, um, engineering, architectural firms, that type of thing. And so, just to um, wrap it up and really paint the picture for you, I wanted to sh share with you just a few examples of how we've helped companies or organizations. So I just have a few final slides to give you really to paint the picture of what we're doing. So this was a foreign direct investment opportunity for one of our um, partners. Um, it was a community that a tire, Turkish tire recycling company was looking at their area and it was looking at um, putting a manufacturing facility in their community. So they came to us, and pardon me for reading, but they came to us with this specific question, which is determine if there is adequate annual tonnage of disposed tires in their identified region. Riveting, right? Very exciting. So we did a number of things um, to help this company prepare for this foreign direct investment opportunity to come to their region. So we met with the EDA representative and we met with a local tire industry expert. We called um, for an open records report from the EPA covering 24 Georgia counties. We identified any potential existing competitors that they might face from the Savannah to Jacksonville quarter. Um, we provided <coughs> research on two of the competitors that we did find to see if they were directly competitive um, for the byproduct that they wanted to um, produce from these recycled tires. Um, we provided contact information for this Turkish company for U.S. lawyers, bankers, um, CPA firms, and EB5 regional centers at their request. Uh, we identified buyers, um, potential buyers, for the byproducts that they were planning to produce from these tires. Um, we introduced them to, uh, the, we introduced the Turkish company to the World Trade Center in Istanbul um, so that they could have connection in their country as well as we introduced them to the Honorary Consul General um, for Turkey that resides in Atlanta, uh, Mona Diamond. Um, finally, we provided the Economic Development Authority partner with all that information and protocol information in preparation for their visit. So just an example of um, once we get the request, how we can assist with all those things. Second was a company that we were working with, or that we're still working with, that was exporting over 200 containers a month of southern yellow pine logs, whole logs, to China. Um, unfortunately for this particular um, client, the housing market is really dry, dried up in China, and so those containers were no longer needed. Um, China is really sourcing that stuff from closer to home, from New Zealand, Australia. Um, getting product from there. So this company uh, needed to replace those 200 containers a month. So they came to us with a request to determine export potential for markets in Central America and the Caribbean islands. So we did a number of things to help support them. Uh, we identified top U.S. export markets for Southern Yellow Pine, in particular the whole logs. Uh, we provided market potential uh, for the top Central American um, countries and the islands which uh, rose to the top, Dominican Republic, Mexico, Jamaica, Trinidad, and Tobago. Um, most importantly, I think, is through our research and the resources, is we found one of the top markets that they were planning to export to in these Caribbean markets was already saturated. Um, they didn't need any more product. And so we were able to advise them that at this time, that might not be the best use of their resources, that particular um, island at this particular time, and I think that's very valuable. Um, we identified other potential markets outside of South America and that region so that they could begin to explore other markets. So we're still working with them to identify the best market for them and even potential buyers through the World Trade Centers Association. So an idea of how we've recently helped a company. And this is just one other um, quick piece, Savannah Bee Company, we're very proud of. They make, or they don't make, but the bees make honey. And from the honey and the byproducts, they make all kind of body care products and, and skin lines. And they um, are branching out into Europe. 
and uh, we assisted them with a number of things with their outreach into Europe. They have a goal of uh, to add exports into their portfolio of about 40% in the next five years. So we're helping with that strategy, that very specific strategy. One of the requirements for the EU is that they're packaging and all of the EU had to have an EU address. So it's very hard to see, but right down here at the bottom, you can see that we were able to partner with the World Trade Center Marseille in Provence, France, to afford them the opportunity to use that physical address on all of their products going to the EU. So it might sound simple, wasn't that simple, but in the end, um, they got what they needed through, through the partnership and through our organization. So finally, this is just an overview of what we've done since we were licensed in 2011 to give you a bigger picture of some of the specifics. In the Foreign Trade Zone program, we service a service area of 16 counties, and we currently have 13 companies from manufacturing to 3PL um, using that program in our region. Um, our trade service and partners, we have 54 partners, 970 trade service hours is what we logged in 2014. That's the work that we've done in response to inquiries that we've gotten from our partners in the community. Um, 120 business to business meetings. We have um, hosted 50 inbound delegations and supported 12 outbound delegations. And our global education programs that I mentioned early on, we've hosted 44 um, and had close to 800 participants in those programs. So, that's it. Any questions? Did I do all right on time, Tom? No, yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you can... I, I have... You go ahead, please, I'll defer. Oh, I was interested in your region. You said you had a 16-county region. Um, when looking at the partners that you had, that you had on one of the previous slides, <coughs> It showed that most of the communities and the counties that you were partners with were closer into Savannah. Are you looking to expand your partnerships? And if so, how many do you have a certain number you're trying to get to? Great question. I'm going to answer it in two ways. The 16 county region that I mentioned was for the foreign trade zone. It's a federal program and they restrict the counties that are the, the counties that we can have within our service area. It's basically a, a drive time and a mileage distance that's set up by the by the federal law. So that's a slightly separate, and yes, that, that those 16 counties are based on the um, outer limits of the port of Savannah. Um, so as far as our partners, um, yes, most of our partners are centered around the coastal Georgia region, um, and we have actively, since inception, since we were licensed, we have actively been sitting down and talking with development authorities. We knew that that was important for both the partnership investment as well as making sure that regionally we were all working together um, as a region. Especially international um, companies coming in, they don't they don't really care about the county lines. They they really just want they if they want to be here, they want to be here, and, and the community is a larger whole. We don't have a defined number of partners or number of economic development authorities. Uh, when Andrea and I spoke, it was very much, what are you looking for? Because we need to understand the expectations and make sure we can meet the expectations. It's, um, it's not really that far, I just drove it, but it, it is a little far. But as long as it makes sense to both communities, um, we can certainly work with your existing industries um, and, and certainly help them. We don't always have to be face-to-face -to, -face to do that. Would you go back to slide one, please? <laughs> yes, sir. Right, no, one? the next one too, I guess it would be. Yeah. I like your presentation, but when I look at this, to my left, I'm looking at two of the most oppressive governments in the world. Beijing and Dubai, mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia and China. <laughs> They're not even democratic nations. So if I'm thinking about an impression to bestow upon, and this is not a criticism of you, this is just what jumped out at me. Perhaps we could choose nicer World Trade Centers with partners which have democracies. Curious. Good point. Thank you for that. Very interesting. It's still loud. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Still <laughs> but good point. Any other questions for Lee? Just how can we work with you, and are we doing everything we should be doing? 
Well, this I think is the first or second step, and what we're doing is us being able to share with you about this partnership. Um, and I have some meetings scheduled with Andrea, thanks to Andrea, tomorrow with, with a few of your existing industries to literally sit down and speak with them about what their needs are and how we can assist with that. And through this partnership, that's, that's what we do. And we talk to them about what their needs are. Um, we don't pretend to assume that we know, so how, how we can help them. Thank you, Lee. Thank you very much. You're welcome to hang in here with us if you like. I know you're staying overnight. So. <laughs>